In this video, I am making malt vinegar fried chicken and garlic cilantro rice. I first boil my chicken so that it's cooked 100%. Then I add the boiled chicken to some flour. And then when you fry the chicken, you don't have to fry it for long. And it's best to use it in a basket instead of a skillet so it doesn't stick. And you only need to fry it for like two minutes to get it a beautiful golden brown because it's already cooked. And once it's crispy, you're all set. And you buy malt vinegar. There's different types of vinegar. There's rice vinegar. There's wine vinegar. Um, when you want some fish and chips or if you want um, some vinegar fried chicken, you will use malt vinegar. And I bought these little spray bottles. They're called cooking spray bottles on Amazon and they came with these little funnels if that's what you call it so you add just a little bit of um, malt vinegar to the spray bottle and if you are cooking for multiple people I'm only cooking for myself so you can get a bigger spray bottle and you can buy a a larger bottle of Heinz malt vinegar instead of the packets I got the packets on Amazon so um, you can get everything on Amazon pretty much so then you spray the malt vinegar on your beautifully golden fried chicken. And that is how you make malt vinegar fried chicken. And it's not super unhealthy because you didn't fry it for long. And since it's already been boiled and cooked, it's fine. So now you add the garlic to the rice. Um, I buy the chopped garlic. You can chop your own garlic, but this garlic has a lot of flavor. And then I added some cilantro to give some zest flavor to the rice. And then I sprayed a little more malt vinegar. That is, or this is my malt vinegar fried chicken with garlic cilantro rice, my own invention.